We're on break just now because it's a kind of national holiday in Turkey, Bayram. We thought we would take this opportunity to do a little exploring. So myself, Josh and Spencer are off to Gallipoli and then Ilios, I think, which is where uh, people believe that uh, the ancient city of Troy is. Here we are on... <laughs> so here we are on the metro. Um, I think it'll take us like two hours. <laughs> Two hours to get to the bus station where we get the bus to Gallipoli. Um, so it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, wish us luck. I'll try and keep you updated, but this journey won't be that exciting. I'll film when I get there. So we have now arrived at the bus station and we're just going to chill here for a bit until our bus, our bus is stopped for like another few hours, which kind of sucks, but it's like the need this one so we can chill for a few hours and then get on the bus and it's like a four or five hour journey so we won't get it till evening so we'll just kind of probably do a bit of exploring tonight and chill and then explore Gallipoli probably tomorrow and then do a bit of Ilium on the next day probably. Look at this cat like stalking like it's It really depends on these. That one pigeon is just so oblivious. Go on, get it. Finally on the bus, after a two hour wait <laughs> and much confusion as to what was the right bus, but he finally found someone who's willing to help with many folks to say, sit down, sit down. Yeah, we, but, we were shut down a little bit. Yeah. And now we have a five hour wait. So, luckily, <laughs> party. And I'll resume when we get there. So now I'm just trying to play Pokemon. Well, we made it to... Where are we, Josh? Ejeabat. Ejeabat. Um, and our hotel is like just across the road there. That's it there, built with the yellow lights. And we're gonna go check in and then get some dinner because we're all really hungry. And we've been traveling like all day and not really had a proper meal. So we're gonna get a proper meal and then probably just chill tonight. Maybe do a bit more exploring, we'll see. <laughs> Hotel. We made it to our room. Hey. It's snug, but. <laughs> it's only for a night or two. What are you complaining about? They have a hairdryer. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> this, is the best one that I, this is better than our dome. <laughs> that is, that is so good. There's a television. What? I didn't even see this. Tiny little cupboards. <laughs> what are you going to put in there? <laughs> a view of a ferry. Oh, oh, Josh Hang broke on. the window. I didn't break the window. A view of the Dardanelles. A view of the Dardanelles. And now dinner. So we found a really nice uh, like fish place uh, for dinner. Seafood. It's kind of fish seafood. Um, and it's right on the Dardanelles. So we have a really quite cool You can't really see, but a nice view. Um, we have our wine. Our Gallipoli wine from Gallipoli, so it's not even imported. It's like literally from about 15 minutes away, which is quite exciting. Uh, it's really nice. Spencer's happy with his wine. Good morning. We've just left our hostel for the day. It is about 20 to 10 and we're off to explore Gallipoli. Like that's the route. that's the town we're in just now on the map. Do they have the uh, the fish restaurant? <laughs> I mean, what they wanted and what they were doing were two separate things. But the idea at British High Command was to knock Turkey out of the war, thinking that Turkey was somehow propping Germany up. Um, but then also open up uh, a sea route to get supplies into Russia who badly needed ammunition during the war. Mm -hmm. 
So we're now in taxi on the way to Josh. Kapatebe. 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 Um, and then we're going to walk a bit along the coast and see some memorial sites. It's kind of a period of history I don't know. Well, it's a period that I know about, but not this, this specific this specific area. Um, but Josh is a very apt tour guide, so he's giving us lots of information. Yeah, they were here before, so it's really interesting. Jayabat and then we've taxi to Kaba Tepe and we're about to walk north to Anzac Cove. I'm done before I get like rabies. <laughs> yeah. All the dogs. Wild dogs. A lot of maps are available to the people who actually planned the invasion, but they for some reason elected not to use them. So the information well like no information was given to the landing party at all. They were just told reach the top of the hill. And the standard pack for the British forces weighs 70 to 90 pounds. These pebbles are not easy to walk on. But it's still easier than walking on the sand. <laughs> We're going off road. Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> to find a uh, Lone Pine Cemetery which is supposed to be up here somewhere oh. There are some stunning views up here We made it to the Lone Pine Cemetery <laughs> A lot of breath Really quite sad but beautiful. Enjoying some more sights. So pretty. We're just back from our kind of morning slash early afternoon exploring. Come back to the town we're staying in and just had lunch. As you can see, we're all very happy because we're hungry. Um, and now we're going to head to a few like, fortresses just hey, up the road that we're going to go and explore. Okay, we're off again, uh, walking about half an hour to the first fortress and about another half an hour after that to the next. Trying to see if we can flag down a Dolmush, um, because we know one goes this path, but we've not, we've not seen it yet, so we're going to try and ah, fly. We're going to try and like hop on when one passes because you can just flag them down wherever we are. And we've lost Josh. Where, where'd he go? Oh, he's getting his camera out. We saw some chickens. We saw some chickens. Josh asked if we wanted to kill them and eat them for dinner. We said yes. Obviously. Yeah. Which you can understand as a vegan. <laughs> we're kind of not 100% sure where we are but, or where exactly we're going but we'll find it. We can see the castle. But we have, we have no idea how to get into it. Um, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. To, for repairs. That was not the entrance. Yeah, the castle is partly closed. Yeah, it looks like it's been refurbished and stuff. We did not get in it, unfortunately. But there's other sites around here that we're going to have a look at. There's these which we don't really know what they are. They look like bunkers of some kind. Let's we'll explore. We have had a packed day, yeah, a lot of walking and stuff, and so we just came back to the hotel for a bit and chilled and then went out for dinner, which was really nice, this kind of Greek restaurant, uh, and again had another bottle of the nice local wine. 
that's you. Oh, From nice. Garba Tepe. Hmm? I know it's mean, but well, I don't care. Um, stay alive. One that's been aired now. And now we're just got some snacks and stuff, and we're just chilling. Snacks and gotta get wasted. Snacks and alcohol, and we're just gonna chill and play some cards and stuff in a hotel room. And tomorrow we are off to Troy on the ferry, so and then back to Istanbul. Good morning. So we just checked out of the hotel and our hostel, or whatever, and we're heading right across the road to the ferry, and we're gonna catch the ferry across the Dardanelles and then catch a Domush to Troy. We're on the ferry. Hurry. I've not been on a ferry since I accidentally got on one going to Sky instead of getting the Sky Bridge. Not made that mistake again. But it's kind of nice to be on a ferry again. So. It'll be cool crossing the Dardanelles on the ferry. It's quite early, it's about, well not that early, it's about just before 10. So the ferry leaves at 10. Look at that view. So we're on the road again. We are just in like a bus on the way to Troya. Um, and we're going to go see some ruins. Aptly guided by Josh. Who knows everything about Troy. We are here. We've arrived at like the Troy site. Greeted by a big horse. <laughs> Lots of ruins. Touching the walls of Troy. <laughs> Won't miss. Yay! I've just realised I've got a really appropriate t shirt for today. It has lots of Greek lettering on it. Way in the antechamber in a smaller room. Yeah. So it could be half. Could it be too early for an obelisk? We found my favourite place, the theatre. We got back from like Troy um, late last night. We we had asked around at the start of the day to find the bus back to Istanbul at night. But they all seem they were they were all full, so we had to make this kind of dodgy deal with this guy. Just handed over money, and he said be back by a certain time, and um, we did. And to be fair, the bus was there, but it was a worry for a while that we would make it. And um, we're kind of bundled into this um, kind of mini bus and drove us to Istanbul, which is fine, and made it back. Um, but it was all around. It was a really good trip. It was a lot of fun. Got to see another part of Turkey. Got to cross the Anatolian side. Um, it was a lot of fun and now I'm back at school for two days and then on Friday, well actually Thursday night, um, tomorrow night, we're headed to Kamatokia for the weekend so that promises to be really fun as well. So I'll be sure to uh, vlog that as well and you'll see it in the next few days. Bye!